Staff Special Limited Edition Run Roboworms extended to new sizes. Some much awaited models in the NRX Plus finally arrive. And the 2022 Mega Bass Lucky Box. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back my friends. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, AKA the Tackle Taku on Instagram. Being joined this fine Sunday morning by my buddy, Jeffrey the King. What's up, Jeffrey the King? You look well rested. I am you got a full eight hours of sleep last anything night. Anything but that, but check it. To make it all better. Look at this. Even that's, a celebration can. That's a dope can. Huge shout out to my friend, Ray. He sent me some. That's insane. We have zero Orion in Arizona. This mm. is the driest state in the country. Here it is. It's miserable. But Ray hooked it up. Thank you so much, my friend. I am going to enjoy this. Jeff, would you like one? I um, have a plethora. No. Could Are you, you sure? Every last one of them. I am going to drink every last one of them. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Oh, man, I've missed that. Yeah? Does it that taste like is, celebration? That is good. There is a celebration in my mouth right now, Jeff. You know how much I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Calm down, dude. You've already taken mm. three sips. Mm. Four sips. Mm. We're not going to be able to get through this. This is good. Cheers, my friend. Happy Sunday. All right, let's dive right in, Jeff. I guess I should say to anybody new that's watching, this is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle, where we highlight new product drops as well as important <laughs> restocks so you can stay on top of the game. You also get to watch me drink Orion again. You know, if this is somebody's to first that. time to like, do these guys talk about tackle or just talk about beer and drink and then they leave? We just talk about good stuff, yeah. Jeff. You know, and celebrations in my <laughs> mouth. Speaking of celebrations, Jeff, let's mm. jump right to it. Third week in a row, a limited edition drop from Mega Bass. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just how the stuff is laying out. Yeah. We talked about it a month ago that yeah. Customs was being a pain, but once it opened up, it was going to be a floodgate of awesomeness. And Boom. Here we are, more awesomeness. So, every year to celebrate the new year, Mega Bass does what they call a lucky bag or a lucky box, right? These are very limited numbers. There's only so many produced. We don't have a lot of these. Okay, so everybody is not gonna get one. There is definitely not enough to go around, but here we go. I'm gonna show them so you know what they are. The 2022 Mega Bass Lucky Bag, but it's a box. Yeah, So switch it up. Lucky box, lucky bag, they're dope. So here you go, this is what we get. Now, did you know that 2022 is the year of the tiger? I've heard, yeah. Year of the Tiger. So here, let's open one up. There are five different color possibilities. Okay, so inside each <laughs> lucky, easy to open, lucky bag box. Don't laugh at me. Okay, there is a made in Japan metal Mega Bass toolbox tackle box so sick all right so you've got the mega bass you've got the kishin bushin logo there you've got the good design you've got the Edo engineering all i can think about is or i'm so happy i should have slept last night it's hitting me now that that would have probably been a good idea okay open this up inside each one is going to be a handful of limited edition items now the box does it for me. Mm. I just want the box. Okay. Right? But 
inside each one is going to be a hodgepodge of things. So every box is going to come with, can you see the year of the tiger trend here, Jeff? Slightly. Yeah. So everyone is going to come with a coin purse, right? And we need these. Now this is literally like a throwback coin purse, right? Remember these? It's got the slit and you drop your coins in there and you have them? No. Yeah, so sick. Oh, you're that young? Yeah. I'm, oh my God. I'm a child. One of the new Mega Dog X's. So this is the new size of Mega Dog that Mega Bass released earlier. They have not hit the market yet, but you're gonna get a special tiger pattern, right? So this one happens to be called Gray Coach. Okay. Yeah, super sick. So they're 180 millimeters, two and a half ounces for the new size in that. Every box is going to come with a limited edition Pop X. Okay, this one happens to be called Sunrise Tiger. Now the colors are gonna vary box to box. And then every box is gonna either have a limited edition X Pod, Pop Max, or Pop X. No way of knowing. It's gonna be one of those three, but again, in a limited edition color. Dude, that's sick. What is that? Black, Black Garnet. That one's dope. Did you see this one, Griff? Look at that one. <laughs> Griff's gonna steal all the pop maxes if they're in there. So there you go. So you get the three baits, the coin purse, the metal made in Japan box. They're 179. And like I said, extremely limited. This is a one time drop. So when they're gone, they're gone. I wanted to show you guys a couple other possibilities. Remember, remember there's five different color possibilities on the box. No idea what you're gonna get till you get it. Here's a black one. Let's just have some fun and open it. Give you a little idea of some colors so you guys understand what may or may not be coming to you. Super dope. Here is a green one. Looks like it matches your glasses. Let's see what we get in the green one. This one, dude, that, that tiger is sick in that x pod Oof, that bengal tiger so super dope practicality i don't know <laughs> cool factor dude this is like a thousand that's so dope so super excited to have them so if that speaks to you if you guys want something just super limited and super fun wall supplies last the 2022 lucky bag lucky box in stock now all right, Jeff, a lot of questions on depth soft plastics. Huge restock in Sakamata Shads this week. So we see a return of four inch, five inch, six inch. We also see a return in the seven inch heavyweight as well as the eight inch normal. So if you guys have been waiting on Sakamata Shads, those return. We also see a small restock but a restock nonetheless in cover scat. So we probably won't see our, our huge shipment here for another probably a month or so. But if you guys have been waiting on cover scats, we did get a small resupply, two and a half inch, three and a half inch, four inch. So definitely scoop those up while you can. Cover scats return temporarily from depth. All right, Jeff, let's jump to OSP. A huge restock week from OSP and some new product drops that I'm super stoked about. So we see restocks in plastics, hard baits, wire baits, jigs, all kinds of things. So let's start right here. A huge week for spinner baits with OSP. Now we, you and I, were throwing OSP spinner baits yesterday. Mm -hmm. Even this is a staple in our lineup. So, you know, if you guys have been waiting on high pitchers or high pitcher max, this is the week to look. All kinds of sizes, blade combinations from quarter ounce, half ounce, five eighths, one ounce, all kinds of stuff. Let me just highlight a couple. And if you guys aren't familiar with the difference. Here is the OSP high pitcher. So the high pitcher is a super compact spinner bait, right? Available, uh, again, like I said, quarter, which is a new size for us, half ounce, five eighths, one ounce. Here is the high pitcher max, which is a larger size. Now this is gonna be a super compact guy. This is gonna be a hard thumping, very light wire guy in a bigger profile. Both have amazing uses, right? And we were actually throwing both of these yesterday. This guy thumps 
so hard. Like we were even kind of laughing about it a no, little bit yesterday on the lake. Like, dude, this thing. Just, this thing is actually insane. Yeah, it vibrates and hits so hard because of that wire. It's just an amazing one. This guy, when you need something just small and compact, just so easy to work, right? So, again, all kinds of color combinations here all kinds of sizes, it, and we've been throwing a ton of these heavy ones. So yesterday we were throwing the three quarter and the one ounce versions. So whatever you guys can imagine, those return and are new from OSP. Now, new from OSP, just in case those high pitcher max aren't big enough, mm -hmm. Jeff. Yeah, oh yeah. I introduce to you the high pitcher max Typhoon Longcast. Long enough name? It's a, little, it's a long name, it's a long bait. Let's just call it the Typhoon. There you go. Typhoon, in stock. Now this is a one ounce tandem willow spinnerbait. Took one of the package because I was checking around yesterday. There you go, now that's a blade. That's a blade, that's a real one. That's a blade there. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> thing is massive. So. OSP only makes these every once in a while, and you can see that it's a very kind of custom shaped blade. This is a difficult one to make, so everything is kind of tack welded in, ball bearing swivels, custom blade, you get a bigger hook, you get a very specialized head, so when you see this thing coming through the water, it's got an amazing vibration to it. It really kind of moves and shimmies side to side. Not as hard hitting as a jackhammer, right? but it definitely has a side-to-side -side vibration. It's kind of a mid-grade wire, so it's hard enough vibration-wise, but strong enough to withstand abuse and cast, and then just this massive, massive blade. So if you guys are fishing anywhere where there's big bait, gizzard shad, blueback herring, in the spring out here, you know, in those threadfin shad move up to spawn, you know, those are full-grown four, five-inch threadfins that size, right? So just an amazing bait when you need to upsize. Again, pretty rare. This is likely the only supply of them that we'll get. I'll try to get as many as I can get. Uh, but if you guys have been looking for just a super dope combination, in all kinds of cool colors, right? Available now from OSP, the Typhoon. <laughs> oh, that was a big one, Jeff. Sweet, mm -hmm. delicious, mm. mouthwatering. Mm. Oh, yeah. Cheers, my friends. Oh, my God. Oh, I've missed that. Okay. Huge restock. Huge restock mm -hmm. in jigs from OSP. So, a return of one of our favorites, the Hunch Jig, back in stock in all sizes and all colors. The Hunch Jig is that great kind of hybrid football roundhead jig. We fish it like a football jig. It's just, it's so compact and nice. This is my go-to along with a depths headlock. We talk about the headlock a lot. That's a great one when there's nothing to snag. When there's any kind of wood or stuff to snag, the hunts usually becomes my go-to. So back in stock, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on it. The OSP Jig 01, also back in stock. This is the kind of pitching jig. This is a great one, just running bank, pitching wood, uh, doing different stuff. All sizes return in that. While we're on OSP Jig 01, we also see a new offering in jigs from OSP, and that's the OSP Jig 01 Strong. This is the version named after me, Jeff. Big Strong, huh? Yeah, Big Strong. I mean, it's pretty simple to see, right? You got the <laughs> Jeff over here. Yep. And you got me over oh, here. Yeah. Big long guy. That's what she said. Let's take one out. Let's take Please. the big long guy out, yeah. Jeff. Show it off. Mm -hmm. Whip that thing out. Oh, it's coming. Literally. Here we go. Good heavens. So basically just the same idea as the OSP Jig 01. You've got that pitching style jig. You've got a little stouter hook, but you basically have this big mop skirt. So, you know, sometimes they just want it big. Am I right? Oh, uh, yeah. They, they like just they want some girth to it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So this is just gonna give a lot more water push. It's just gonna be moppy. <laughs> I think that's the technical term. So if you guys are looking for a, just a bigger pitching jig alternative, this one is gonna be dope. It's available in a bunch of colors. So there you go, the brand new Zero One Strong from OSP. What trailer are you putting on that, the Magnum Beaver? I think a Magnum Beaver would look <laughs> great. Yeah, why not, Jeff? 
So it's still a relatively short shank hook, right? So a lot of guys with a mop jig will just throw the mop jig mm. and not use any trailer. That way it can come through really quickly and just let that plastic kind of, you know, do its thing. But of course you can put, so in Japan, very common to use things like a shrimp. So like longer, thinner things that kind of just add bulk and length, but not take away from all the moppiness. So mm. craw shrimp, magnum beaver, why not? Yeah. Right? <laughs> go luck. big or go home. Good right? Luck. I mean, we're already going big. So yeah, all kinds of options there. So excited to get those in new this week. And then finally, uh, while we're on jigs, weed riders and slipper jigs all return. So all sizes, all colors. This is this is my favorite swim jig. So this is good. It's just a great one-two combination. Slipper jig for smaller size swim baits. Weed rider when I need to put like a four and a half or five inch swim bait back there. Just a great all around jig. So those all return this week from OSP as well. well. We're talking about jigs, Jeff. Huge restock this week and OSP Dole Live Craws as well. And you hear us talk about the Dole Live Craw a lot. This is my go-to jig trailer. The three inch is just so money on those little compact jigs. Uh, really the almost the only trailer you need. I think this is the only trailer Griff ever uses. That's it's the only one I've ever seen him use. Right. Maybe he uses other things, but you know, in private or something. <laughs> Who knows what he's doing but in public this is the go-to the two inch is a super dope one when you need to get really finesse or even drop shot and then they make a four and a five inch again you could use it as a bigger jig trailer also great for flipping punch in just texas rig stuff so craws return we also see a huge return in the osp hp 3d wacky now this is a super dope very finesse flick shakes are kind of a super popular thing, spawn, right? Especially when those fish are kind of moving up, pre-spawn, post-spawn, a flick shake just crushes them, mm -hmm. right? So the OSP 3D Wacky is a great one. Now you can use this as a uh, drop shot bait, designed to be kind of a neko rig bait, but it's a great one too to use as a flick shake alternative because it has these split tails on it, right? So you're just gonna get a really great action out of this thing. When you're shaking it, you're gonna just get kind of that dual action in the back, just something a little bit different. So it's a great one. We sell tons of them. So if you guys have been looking for them, all colors and sizes return in that this week from OSP. Huge restock in Dole Live sticks as well. So all colors return in the three inch, the three and a half inch, the four and a half inch, the fat, right? Just in time for spring when this thing absolutely crushes them. So if you guys have been looking for sticks, now is the time to grab them. We also see a huge restock in the Dole Live crawlers. So this is just a great all around use worm. Super good one. So all crawlers back in stock. All right, new this week from OSP, we see the introduction of saltwater jerk baits. So here we go. Brand new saltwater Varunas and saltwater rudras in stock now. Now, the Varuna 110 is one that we throw a lot. The Rudro 130, uh, one of my favorites for needing to say a bigger size jerkbait, I usually always go to either the Edo Shiner or the Rudra. So the saltwater version is just going to be a sinking version similar to the Megabass saltwater versions as well. So if you wanna get it down a little bit deeper, you can certainly work this in fresh water. And a lot of these colors are freshwater applicable, right? So, you know, Neo Pearl, some of these, you know, bait fish patterns all could cross over into freshwater. But if you guys are fishing saltwater as well, these are gonna be great because they're gonna be able to cut through the surf. You're gonna be able to use them in the salt. So excited to get these in. All kinds of color patterns available in these. So they are gonna be the rattling, slow sinking versions available now from OSP. And while we're on jerk base, we see a huge restock this week in the Ashura 2 from OSP, which is the great downsizing jerk bait. This is the 92 and a half millimeter, uh, three tenths of an ounce or eight and a half gram jerk bait. Just a really good finesse jerk bait when you need just a stealthier approach. All those are returned. Durga is also returned. This could be more of the true bait finesse size or spinning rod size. 73 millimeters, 4.7 grams. So, you know, this is gonna be more small stream, really, really delicate, pond, trout, any of that stuff. So, Asuras and Durgas, all back from OSP. All right, and then finally, just some restock notes from OSP. 
We talk about the Blitz series of crankbaits here a lot, Jeff. So it's always exciting when we get a big restock in. So if you guys have been looking for the OSP Blitz DRs, they return in most of the key colors. So you're getting things like Chartreuse Wagasagi, Numeri Shad is back, Dazzler Gill. So all those return in the DR. A handful of colors return in the Blitz Max DR. So some bait fish patterns return real IU, crystal blue shiner, blue back herring, so on and so forth return in that. And then a handful of colors return in one of the best flat sided crankbaits, the HPF Spec 2. So if you guys have been waiting on any of those, now's a great time to grab them back in stock. And it returns. And it returns in new sizes. Ooh. So, Sadly, one of the best colors of Robo Worm that I've ever seen. Griff's custom color. Yes, yes, I'm talking about your color. Nicely, too, I'm giving you a compliment. Stop looking at me like that. Four and a half inch straight tail. I know you're looking at me weird because we never throw it. Tons of smallmouth guys love this size, so they've been asking for it, so we listen. So if you guys want a smaller worm, yes is now available in that. And to make it even crazier, how about a four and a half inch curly too? Whew. So this is actually a worm that I love to throw for smallmouth because it's just tiny and finessey. So yes, is available in that. Probably the only color that's better than that. Sometimes you just gotta give them otaku's seed. Mm -hmm. Am I right, Jeff? Mm -hmm. I know this is one of your favorite colors. Oh yeah. So uh, taco seed, just a special blend that I put together for you all. Six inch straight five and a half inch curly available now. Julius also made a color, AKA Hippie. Did they spell it right this time? No. <laughs> so Hippie Soggy was the name of this color. It's gonna be called Hippie Sagui, I think forever now. So one of the only like neutral kind of milky patterns. Maybe this should have been Hippie Seed. Mm -hmm. Feel dirty getting in there. Ew. Yeah, sticky. So, kind of cool. It's just a, a take on OSP Wakasagi, really. But it's a very neutral, kind of milky color. Not a lot of those in a robe worm, so that's exciting to get. You know, while we're talking and I'm playing with things, let me take out their taco seed. You just, don't need to. No, you know what? No, you don't. Everybody you wants don't. to see my seed. Okay. There you go. Hold it right there, dude. We need to get a nice zoom in. Oh, yeah. Zoom in on my seed, Jeff. I'm zooming. It's focusing on it too. That's a sick ass pattern, if I don't say so myself. Wow, mm. so good. You know what, I might buy those all. Okay, sold out. Griff, how many Otaku seeds you got in your bag? Zero. <laughs> Such a hater, isn't he? See, I talk nice about him. How many yes do you have in your bag? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Big drop shot guy, develops the best color of worm. This is how it works around here. So, Hua developed a great color called Green Pumpkin Dawn. Super excited to get this. This is available in a six inch straight as well as a five and a half inch curly. It's a half green pumpkin, half inch morning, half inch? It's a half green pumpkin, half morning dawn color. So that one's super dope. Super dope? Are you okay, Dude, brother? I'm half an Orion and no sleep in. And I am wasted. Ethan developed a color. so. We call him Neck, so it was fitting to develop a red neck. So a lot of you guys are familiar with like a desert craw. This is kind of a take on that, uh, but a red vein. So just a super dope crawfish pattern. We got 24 karat magic from Louise. So this is gonna be an amazing smallmouth pattern. Great bed fishing pattern in a little curly tail. Carmen came through with the color Neon Gobi. And we did this in a curly tail and a four and a half inch straight tail. So designed to be a very natural Gobi pattern. So you get that pearl belly, you get that kind of green pumpkin blue flake, a little bit of a vein. So this one's gonna be killer for you smallmouth guys. We did a restock on Orion. The best color. Let me celebrate that. Cheers. That is a good color. Mm-hmm. So cheers, my friends, on that. And then, oh, this color's I. Right. Which one's that one? This is named after Jeffrey the King himself. Royal Highness? The Royal Highness. We bow to you, sir. 
So Jeff's custom color available in a curly tail and a straight tail Royal Highness. So there you go, some staff custom colors from Roboworm. That's a lot of Roboworms. There's so a lot. If you guys love drop shotting, these are gonna be limited edition drops. So once they're gone, we probably won't see these back until the end of the year. So if they speak to you, grab them, new this week. All right, Jeff, let's talk about some JDM line for a minute. So, you know, Seaguar is one of those brands where it's popular here, it's super popular in Japan, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes it feels like when people come through the store, like there's Sunline and then there's like everything else. Yeah. Right? It really feels that way, mm -hmm. right? In Japan, it's kind of the opposite. It's like Seaguar and there's kind of everything else. Right? So it's fun to bring over some of the new JDM Seaguar products. So new this week, the brand new fluoro uh, from Seaguar Japan, the R18 Fluoro Hunter Tact. So just another addition, it's available from a two to 20 pound, gonna be a real high end, real abrasion resistant line. So just something else to add into the mix, something new to try. If you guys are a Seaguar fan or looking for a different line, that is available now. We also see some machine cut handles for your reels from ZPI. So I introduced to you the Zelos series of handles. Now these are gonna come machine cut, they're 92 millimeters. They are gonna feature different grips, so different foam grips. They are compatible with Shimano and Daiwa. Okay, so you don't have to buy a specific Shimano one or a specific Daiwa. They will come inside with whatever nuts and caps and stuff that you guys are gonna need. So I know a lot of you guys like to change out the handles. EPI is famous for their machine cut aluminum and steel handles. So if you guys have been looking for something great, here you go. They're premium handles, but they are gonna make a big difference to your reel. So available now in several different combinations. All right, another new spoon drop, this time from Little Jack. Now, Little Jack is known for making very lifelike, very realistic bait fish patterns, right? We know them for the Gorgon, right? Looks very lifelike. In the saltwater world, they are huge in the spoon game. <clears throat> they started to make some smaller sizes that will now play in freshwater. So I introduced to you the Little Jack Metal addict spoon now these are going to be 30 grams they're going to be just over one ounce they're going to come stock with bkk stinger hooks on the front there's not going to be any hooks on the back so the this is a very common way of fishing these in japan because they're relatively snag proof you can fish them from shore you can drag them around you can cast them from a boat kind of drag it through structure if you wanted to add a treble hook of course you could for more vertical fishing but some really, really lifelike natural color patterns in these guys. You can see how small they are for still being an ounce. So excited to get these in. Always excited to get more metals in. So new this week from Little Jack. All right, Jeff, we have come to your favorite segment of the show, and that Hell is the yeah. swim bait segment. Oh, yeah. All right. So we got some new swim baits, some new colors of swim baits. So let's just dive right in. So Signal Devil Swimmers, one of our best-selling baits available again in key colors as well as some new color drops. So this is going to be a nice six inch kind of rigged uh, swim bait option, just an alternative to something like a mag draft, right? So a lot of times guys are looking for something just a little bit different, very lifelike colors, super popular in Japan. They don't make a lot of products. so They don't come through very often. So I'm excited to get these back in. So if you guys have been looking for a nice rigged, just simple six inch rigged swim bait from Signal back this week. And then we also see a new product drop from Dran Crazy. Now, up to this point, everything has pretty much been in a hard bait. So we see the official drop of the Dran Crazy. This is the Slow Shiner. Now, this is a little bit different take to a, you know, paddle tail swim bait. In fact, why don't I take one out, Jeff? We'll look at it a little closer. So these guys are gonna be available in six, six colors, I believe, maybe seven. So you can see it's just a longer bodied paddle tail. So it's gonna have a little bit different action to it. And that's all we're looking for, right? We're just looking for little differences. Now inside, you'll notice there's this little kind of air chamber that separates the main body from the tail that's going to allow it and give it a little bit different flex. So we're just mixing up the action here a little bit, a little slower movement. You're gonna get a little bit different vibration. So cool new paddle tail, excited to get those in this week from Dran Crazy. All right, a brand that seems like we talk about every week right now. Like. They are on fire and on roll. 
Bait Sanity. Now last week we brought you three new colors in the Antidote Glide. We brought you Goldfish, we brought you the new Bluegill, and then we brought you Zorro, AKA Baby Catfish, right? They flew out of here, gone. So uh, if you guys missed out or are looking to add it to the arsenal, these all return this week, so all the new colors are back. We also see brand new colors, super excited about this. Brand new colors in the Bait Sanity Explorer gills. Now, Griff even came over for this one. You're excited about these, huh? That dark yellow is so... The dark yellow is so sexy. So, new colors in the Explorer gill. If you guys have missed any of our Explorer gill drops, this is the new bluegill glide bait from Bait Sanity. Uh, this bait was years in the making. They did a ton of R&D just to make sure that they got everything right with this bait. And they did. We've been throwing it around. Absolutely love this bait. As you can see, it's just a nice natural size for them. It's got the hatch match tails, so you can take these tails off. You can put paddle tails on. You can mix and match colors. But there's a look at the new dark bluegill. Dude, when you turn it, the color hits are, are super sick on that. So as you guys know, when those bluegills move up, a lot of times males and females will have different colors. Some get darker, some get lighter. So excited to get that in. We also see, I'll just plow through these here with you. So bread is gonna be new in there. So it's kind of like a really dope kind of, uh, uh, kind of a bonish type color. Bunker is going to be a new color addition. Ghost is also a new color addition. And then not new, but back in stock, original bluegill is back as well. So uh, if you guys are looking for a great bluegill glide, uh, just spec it out again for you guys. They're gonna be two and a half ounces, 2.4 ounces on the floating, 2.5 on the sinking, six inch, so 150 millimeters. Just a great all around bluegill glide. Super stoked to get them back in stock and new colors this week from Bait Sandy. All right, we also see a new drop this week from Smith. Now, Smith, we do talk about them a lot. Every time we talk about them, it's pretty much the same thing. Smith is kind of the trout brand in Japan, right? And they are extending their product line this week. We see the introduction of the Still Area Tune. Now, we sell gazillions of Smith spinners, right? Their hard baits are really starting to catch on. A lot of guys are just crushing fish on them. So here's just another option. I'll take it out for you guys and I'll spec it out for you. It's 40 millimeters, 1.3 grams. So we're talking tiny, tiny here, Jeff. A little small. Yeah, yeah. really, really tiny. Now they're gonna come standard with one single hook in the back. Now remember, this is designed as a trout bait, but you can use it for whatever you want. So if you wanna attach a second hook, if you wanna attach a weight, you want to do whatever you want to. Lots of customization. This is going to be a really small little bait for tearing them up. So all kinds of great colors in that, guys. So if you guys are looking to just extend your trout offerings, new this week from Smith. Jeff, it's time. Is it time? It's time. Have we been waiting for this? We've been waiting. Okay. We're ready now. There it is. Boom. The brand new JDM zillion t-wing hd 1000 you know they forgot to put a five after the one but that's fine well this thing's sick okay so a lot of you guys are familiar with the zillion hd it's a reel that we talk about a lot we use them a lot what's great about it is that it's in that nice kind of in between sizing so you can put it on some of your mid size rods that aren't true swim bait rods, right? So tequila back racks, some of the Gancraft rods, some of the smaller TS destroyers, right? It just, it makes a great, and here it is, the 1520. It just makes a great kind of mid size HD reel. But one of the downsides to it <clears throat> is if you want an HD reel, more for something like a frog or, you know, pitching and flipping, right? And you don't want a bigger profile, but you want the strength. That's kind of where the gap has been. So Daiwa Japan introduced the new 1000 size, and this is gonna have all the new tech into it as well. It's gonna have the hyperdrive system. It's gonna be the same size as the zillion that you're used to made in Japan right? That thing is sexy, dude. 
It's good looking. It's so sexy. So now you just have the ability to have a full HD version. So heavier duty gears, heavier duty bearings. You get this custom handle with the foam knobs. Super sick. So there's a side by side comparison. There's the new one. There's the 1520. Now these are still staying, right? So if you want the bigger sized reel, they are still in the lineup. This is still going to be an important reel for me, but this is just going to be a great addition. Just another option right in reels and options are good, especially when they're high end options, mm -hmm. Jeff, right? So stoked to get this, stoked to get on the water. There you go. If you guys have been waiting, the brand new Zillion HD is out it's in different gear ratios, righties, lefties, so dope. You guys are going to love them. Scoop them up now. All right, for you BFS guys, a lot of you guys have been asking us to restock the Alphas Air T-Wing. Here you go, back in stock from Japan. The Alphas Air is just a great, uh, low profile, small, compact BFS reel without having to jump to like a Steez Air pricing, right? So you get a great bang for the buck, super sophisticated. You get all the casting that you're going to get with something like a Steez just in a Alphas platform. So if you guys are looking for a great bang for the buck at BFS Reel, the Alphas is where it's at, back in stock from Daiwa Japan. All right, Jeff, let's wrap this thing up and talk about some rods, okay. shall we? Okay, so some much anticipated rods from G. Loomis in the NRX Plus. Almost all the models have arrived now. So we see this week a dropping of the 842S SJR. Those are in stock. We also see the 854 JWR. So this is the 71 heavy, just all around use jig and worm rod. So those are in stock finally. And then probably the most anticipated spinning rod uh, that Loomis has had in as long as I can remember the 872S JWR. So this is the 73 medium action spinning rods. All right, 872S. Just to give you guys a quick idea, and, and we're gonna go shoot a video so you guys can see exactly what this rod is capable of. So if you guys are familiar with previous versions of the 872, throw out any preconceived ideas you've had, this rod's different, okay? I have never liked an 872. I've always felt they've just been kind of a strange rod, just too much tip or too much, something wasn't quite right with them. This one's completely redesigned, so you've got this fast tip at the very top, and then just a powerful, powerful rod. Now, I'm not totally sure on this lure rating. Lure rating's a little nuts for me, mm. for a true medium. It's eighth to three eighths. Hmm. So I'm, I'm shocked. I don't think it's right. Okay, remember last week we talked about just some good old boys sitting around drinking beer, right? And like, oh, I'll throw that on there, mm -hmm. right? I think that's what happened on this. I see. And Loomis is usually much more scientific, right? I've seen it. They got machines and all this kind of stuff. I can't imagine throwing an eighth ounce on this. I mean, feel it. It's fast. And you, we played with it yesterday. Would you oh, throw yeah, an eighth right. ounce no. bait no on shot. that? There's no way, right? Have fun not casting it. But three eighths doesn't seem heavy enough. It's a lot of power. There's a lot of power in this rod. So, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have to get it, but really where this rod should shine is when you need something just a little bit faster, a little bit heavier than like an 822 DSR, an 852 JWR, heavier line drop shot, free rig, wacky rig, shaky head, small jigs, that's where the 872 should kick ass. So excited to get them in. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting. So there you go. New from Loomis. The ultimate sin. A Loomis rod with a Daiwa reel. I love sinning, don't you? Dude, that feels so dope. Yeah, so there's the new Zillion HD on the A54 NRX. Yeah, dude. This Zillion HD is sick. Yeah, so there you go. Here you go, sir. Enjoy your new combo. While we are on Loomis, Jeff, this is a rod you have been dying for. I've right? been dying for? He's throwing swim baits the whole time on bait casting rods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's old school. Old school? Yeah. Okay. The new way and the rod you didn't even know you needed was the IMX Pro 882 swim bait rod in a spinning. Uh, okay. So, am I right? Yeah, I'd use this that. is what you needed: a spinning swim bait rod. Yeah. Look at that. Um, what's it rated up to? 
It doesn't matter. Just put a swim bait on. It's good for the clash. Eighth to three eighths. Maybe all their spinning rods are eight Wait, to three eighths. Wait, yeah, what's going on eighth here? Little, eight to three eighths? Who's going to throw a fucking eighth ounce swim bait? If you guys are throwing an eighth ounce swim bait, you probably shouldn't be buying this rod. What did they make of this rod? I don't know. Hey guys, go. I guess a little Kitek head, small little Kitek. That's the only thing that could possibly be it. So maybe it's not the rod for you, Jeff. Actually, it is the rod for you. Here you go, sir. I'm buying it for you. You gotta throw a clash on. So you're telling me that this is the same rating as an 872? Yeah. I'll just take the 872. <laughs> why wouldn't you? I'm not sure why we need an 872 and an 882 swim bait specific rod. It feels exactly the same taper as the 872. Keep it. Keep it. X Pride, right? Why couldn't you give me that rod? Going away. Well, oh. I was going to, but not now with that attitude, mister. Okay, X Pride is going away, coming out with a totally new revamped series. But as certain key models come, as they find them in the warehouses, they're clearing them out. If they're good models that I know everybody's been looking for, I'm gonna grab them. Okay, I'm gonna bring them and I'm gonna let you guys know when they come. And we're gonna put them on sale and let you guys just get a good deal on them. Okay, so this is a rod that a lot of you guys have been waiting on. It's the seven foot medium spin from uh, Shimano in the X Pride. So this is probably their best all around use drop shot, soft plastic, finesse spinning rod. Take advantage, you're gonna be 20% off. Wall supplies last, so. There you go. You want a great deal on an amazing rod? Those are in. Here, you can have that one too. Eight Jeff. to three Hey, let eight. me see. Let me yeah, see. Is it eight, eight to three eight? Eight. Three sixteenths to half. Even better. We're getting even better. So, there you go. This is, wait. There's so no, you're there's me no this rhyme or reason. So that's heavier, heavier than, than their one. swim bait rod. This makes a lot of sense. I like this. Yeah, this is, this is great. Well done, everyone. Okay. Let's jump over to some Mega Bass rods really quick, talk to you guys about some restocks. We've been talking a lot about Triza rods, and I've been telling you guys that Triza is going to become a problem as far as availability goes. We grabbed the last of what was available in Triza until fall. So if you guys have been looking for some of those lighter models, it's gonna be fall. If you guys have been looking for some of the key newer models, a Geha, Returns, which is the basically the Windbuster Triza, right? Dragoon, which is the one that we took to Florida with us when we went to ICAST, mm -hmm. that we threw everything on. All return this week in Triza. And this is going to be the last offering of Triza until fall, sadly. So Triza is the multi piece, the three piece rod version, casting and spinning. So if you guys have been looking for Triza, now is the time. Grab them while we have some. Also, we got a handful of <clears throat> models in the Super Bougie Arms Super Ligara. Now, let me open some of these up. These are gonna be in the 7208 version. So this is going to be the eight power, seven foot two, eight power version, lefties and righties. Okay, these are gonna come in the new, that's a super cool kind of like steel blue color there. Now, I use this rod as a frog rod. I use it as a mag draft freestyle rod. You can use it as a pitching rod. They're also going to have that same blue hit on the tip, so it's a new color for them. They are going to still come with that limited edition Z crank, that carbon crank, the same one uh, that's been for the last couple of months. So if you guys are looking for just a super strong, ultra bougie, new color in a 728, of course, they're going to have the dragon. Got to have the dragon, right? So righties and lefties in these, Available wall supplies last. There's only a handful of them. So if you guys have been waiting, grab those now. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Whew, that was a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I should have got sleep before this episode. Maybe a little sleep would have helped. Yeah, well, maybe I'll do it now. So, guys, cheers. Happy Sunday to you. Thanks for giving us some time. If you guys have questions on anything that we covered today, drop it down below in the comments. I will definitely get to it. Jeff will leave links, of course, to these products if you guys want to check any of them out closer. So, cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. On behalf of myself and Jeff and Griff and John and Carmen, Cole and everybody around this place, guys, thank you guys for the business. Thank you for the support. Thanks for giving us some time. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace.